A person's DNA is gathered by a private company. That company can tell, uh, that can then come sell on, it. Come on, come on, come on with the reading, bro. Yes, sir. That, can, that company can then sell it. That 23. company can sell your DNA. Like to who, for example? Let me help you out there. The center of disease control, maybe. They could buy your DNA to create a weapon to target you, the individual, or your family genes, or your race. Mm. They showed that in the movie Three the Hard Way back in the 70s. Only the old heads know about that one. Read. 23andMe has denied ever selling the private information it gathers from customers. Mm -hmm. Don't S believe the lie. Go ahead. Senator Joni Ernst uh, also attended the forum and added that U.S. adversaries could use the same technology to target livestock and crops to induce famine. To induce famine. So they could take DNA like they do and mix it with animal stuff and jack everything up. Read. The warnings from Crow and Ernst right. Cain. Induce famine. They're going to induce famine. Go ahead. The warnings from Crow and Ernst Cain the same day that they raised alarms over the availability of cheap, military-capable drones, as well as China and Russia's expanding use of AI. Mm -hmm. Raise it up. The U.S. and its adversaries are researching ways to pair drone and AI technology to create swarms of up to 200 drones that can rapidly traverse the battlefield. It's not just the one-offs that are being purchased on the internet, but now we have near-peer adversaries that are developing swarm technology where they can use 100 or 200 different drones. Highly, highly evolved drones that can attack our service members on the battlefield, Ernst said. Now give me the one about the battlefield. The next one, Officer Yosef. Now read that. This is the one what they say to the military. Pentagon tells military personnel not to use at-home DNA kits. So they're telling the military don't do that, but the media is telling y'all to do it. And you got dumb Israelites, yeah, get your uh, DNA test. Do that thing. Prove that you're an Israelite. If you ain't E1, B1, you ain't Israel. Well, what Bible verse is that? I want to know what scripture is that. That's why they don't like us. Because we stay in the Bible. Raise it up. No, that's all I want. Deacon Ethan, you take it from there. You been understand that? Yeah. All right. Y'all be simple if you want, though. And right. also, Bishop, it tells you in Psalms chapter 83 that they were going to cut us off from being a nation. So why should they tell you who you are now? Does that make sense? That's in total opposition of the Bible. Okay? It said that they formed a coalition to cut you off from being a nation. So they're not going to make you pay money for a test and then tell you you're an Israelite. That's absurd. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. It's brothers that are dealing with doubt. They read scriptures. They don't have enough faith to believe what God said. They're going to listen to their own thoughts, what their thoughts is telling them. Yo, believe what the Lord is telling you. Then you're going to be all right, bro. All praises, all praises. Um, happy Sabbath, y'all. Um, give me Deuteronomy 25, verse 17. Um, this class is um, inspired by um, Bishop Yaroslav's class the other day regarding the body. Um, and I touched on these before. I wanted to touch them again briefly. So we get Deuteronomy 25, Deuteronomy 25, verse 17.